Good afternoon everyone, this is Reading for Charity again, continuing the final batch. Um, so this one is going to be a very quick one, a super, super quick one. Um, Metamorphosis by Franz Kafka um, is super short. It's 60 pages, I think. Yeah, 60 pages and that's, um, no, 58 pages and that doesn't count the kind of intro and the outro um, and, you know, so... The actual story itself is that. So let me just make this a bit easier. So that's the actual story itself. This is all the other text explaining the story. Um, and that is probably a really good um, indicator of, of something that's random. Um, I view this very much as literature. And literature is never good. When you have to have... Um, a huge amount of surrounding theory and um, uh, 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 text to explain the story, then the story is pointless in the first place. Um, I read the story, and because it was getting towards the end of all this, I read it relatively quickly. I got to the end and thought, what the earth was that all about? Um, I then read some more up on a bit about it, and I can understand what people are getting at. But I think it can be read in a billion ways. So, very quickly, uh, the story is that Gregor, a travelling salesman, wakes up one day and finds himself to be a giant beetle. Shenanigans happen. Basically, his family hate him because he looks like a giant beetle. Um, he is stuck in his room, unable to leave because he's a giant beetle. Uh, anyone who enters the house is horrified by his appearance because he's a giant beetle. His family turn on him and wish he would die because he's a giant beetle. At which point he dies because he's a giant beetle. Um, his family then leave and decide to marry off the daughter. The end. Really, that's it. Now, the, the commentary is that it's a searing indictment of modern man's um, loneliness and the futility of his efforts amongst the world. Yeah? Maybe? Maybe? Really? It's just a 60-page story about a man who turns into a giant beetle and is hated by everyone? Because you probably would. If I turned into a giant beetle, my family would probably react in roughly the same manner as them. You know, scream and throw things. <laughs> it's, I, it's very much one of these books where it's been written for other people to discuss. And so the author can stand there at parties, smoking a cigarette, not answering any questions and silently going, Look, look how clever I am. I wrote a book when you're asking me about it. Yes, I'm a tech clever. Nah, just nonsense. So, should you read this book? Should you read The Metamorphosis by Franz Kafka? Here is an answer for you. Nope! <laughs> nope, no need. Unless you're being forced to, to buy some sort of course on literature, don't bother. It's not... So many of the books which, in, which involve allegory and um, interesting ideas which are argued through... Um, uh, visual means and even emotions through visual means are done so much better than this. I mean, this is down as one of the classic books and it's just done far more poorly than uh, than other books which attempt to do the same thing. I mean, I'm looking at things like The Stranger in the Fall, for example, Camus, you know, um, books that I genuinely enjoyed and thought were excellent um, and explore similar ideas, you know, about loneliness and your place in the world that Metamorphosis does. But Metamorphosis does it in such a a bizarre way you know it, it becomes you know, go read go read one of the other ones they're better they're much more um they they, they get the point across in a, a much better fashion so metamorphosis by franz kafka don't worry don't bother with it go read one of the other ones i suggest albert camus <laughs> i genuinely like him um okay so that's that one done next up next up is going to be uh, the stranger by albert camus <laughs> one of the ones that you should read instead of the metamorphosis but that's going to be the next one until then thank you very much for listening thank you very much for watching good afternoon